In this video, we are going to practice finding the area of a triangle if we are given side angle side, meaning two sides and the included angle. So we are basically going to be using the following formula. If you are given two sides and the included angle, in this case side A, side B, and the included angle C, the area is going to equal one half the product of the two sides and the sine of the included angle. So looking at problem number one, the area should equal one half the product of the two sides, so one half six times six times the sine of the included angle, 111 degrees. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. So um, to make a fraction on this TI-84, I can hit alpha and y equals and hit enter. Um, so I'm doing one half and then I had six times six times the sine of 111. All right, and now I'm going to round to the nearest tenth, so that's going to be 16.8. Uh, let me just make sure I'm in degree mode, which I am. So uh, that's going to be 16.8 feet. Actually, this is area, so this is 16.8 square feet, or feet squared. Okay, uh, similarly, for problem number two, the area should equal one half 11.9 times uh, 10.2 and then times the sine of 41. So that is going to be 39.8 square centimeters. Okay, let's take a look at problem number three. So, if I want to find the area of this triangle, it's going to be one half 14 times 14 times the sine of 31. And I am coming up with 50 point five. It's fifty point four seven got a round up inches squared. What about number four? The area here should be one half eleven times ten times the sine of fifty one. And there I'm getting 42.7 square miles. Okay, let's take a look at number five. In this problem, they are describing a triangle. They didn't give me a picture, but we could draw our own picture. Um, so there's Z, X, and Y mentioned. Angle Z is 58 degrees. And then y is 15.3. All right, this is side y. I can tell because it's lower case. So that is 15.3 inches. And side x is 8 inches. Side x will be across from angle x. So this is 8 inches. So this is exactly the same as all of the other problems we've been doing. So the area will be 1 half. 15.3 times 8 times the sine of 58. So I'm getting 51.9 square inches. Okay. And I'm sure number 6 is uh, the exact same thing. So if I want to find the area, I'm going to have 1 half 16 times 7 
times the sine of 62. So I got 49.4 uh, meters squared. And similarly for number seven, we have two sides and the included angle. So this is going to be, if I want to find the area, I can do one half one side times the other side times the sine of the included angle. So that is 49.7 square yards. How about number eight? If I want to find the area here, I've got uh, two sides and the included angle. So that is going to be one half side times side times the sine of the included angle. So I got 27.9 square miles.